here's where things get really cool. With your custom codable type sticker, you've been able to save and load the data for its four properties. That's been easy to do because string, date, and CG point are all codable. But you can store your own codable properties in your own codable types. And as of Swift 4, that's just as simple to work with. This capability is really similar to that of another protocol you may have heard of, NS coding. That's like codable, but it only works with classes and it doesn't handle JSON. As you might have guessed from the NS prefix, if you're familiar with that, NS coding comes from a time before Swift. It was a great match at the time for Objective-C, and I'm sure its history has helped inform the design of Codable. Each of these protocols is designed around hierarchies of instances of some concept of encodable and decodable types. Let's see how Codable handles that. We added a new file to 6 start. If you want to follow along with stickers you've made yourself, you can drag the scene file, from sources into the playground you've been working with already. We wrote scene for you because it would have been boring. <laughs> it's a lot like sticker. It stores four properties and conforms to codable because all the properties are codable. One of them is a sticker array. Stickers are codable. An array of stickers is codable. And because int, bool, and string, the types of scene's other three properties are all codable, scene itself is codable. It's like magic. Like sticker, scene has a computed UI image property called background. Scene also has a view property. That's different. We wrote that so you can composite stickers on top of scene backgrounds, which you'll see shortly. And finally, at the bottom, scene mechanically conforms to equatable. To the playground! Let's make a scene. The width is in points on screen. 900 or so should work out fine. And of course, we need reverse gravity. The space background is good for our astronauts. And finally, we need the stickers array. Then you can view the scene with the view property. That is a scene worth saving. Let's continue to save the stickers JSON and additionally save the scene. I'll add another do catch block that just prints errors. The JSON URL will use the file name scene and it'll go in the scenes folder. I'll make a JSON encoder and set its formatting so we can easily read it. And then the cool new part. I can use the encoder to encode a scene, which will cascade and encode all its stickers too. Let's write the data to our drive and check it out. I'm going to make this finder window full screen and drag it to the right of the playground. The stickers JSON file is there. Let's drag that into resources. And do the same thing with your new scene.json. If you look on lines 1 and 20 for stickers, you see angle brackets, which should make sense to a Swift coder. Stickers is an array. Each one of them is contained in curly braces. They're JavaScript objects. But scene is represented by just one object, so its file opens and closes with curly braces. And that array stored in the stickers file? It's right here, with the name stickers, along with the scene's other three properties. Check out the normalized positions. It's interesting to see how CG point implements codable. It gets encoded to an array of two floating point values. Everything looks good. Let's load the scene back and make sure it is good. We'll need a JSON decoder and a data with the contents of scene.json's URL. I see the same byte count as what we encoded. That's a good sign. Then we need to decode the JSON scene.
you should be getting familiar with metatypes by now. The arguments we need are scene.self and, of course, saved JSON data. Scenes are equatable. They're equal. Whew, fantastic.